Here's today's Ag Journal weather sponsored by Lubbock Electric. Well, good Monday evening, South Plains. We are seeing those rain clouds increase on the east side of the metro. You can see those dark gray skies. Those are a site for dry eyes here in West Texas. In our radar, we are beginning to see some of that activity increase. You can see from Brownfield back through New Home here in northern Lynn County near Tohoka, just northwest of Post as well. Should see some of that move into the Lubbock Metro within the next 15 to 20 minutes as well. Over southern areas is where we've seen the most amount of lightning strikes here this evening. Not looking like a lot of those going on recently, but Brownfield some light to moderate rainfall moving into your area. Now Clovis, you're seeing a few lightning strikes there back up towards northern portions of Curry County, northwestern Parmer County, seeing some of that as well. Portales, we've got a few more showers headed your way along Highway 70, but by 8, 9 o'clock this evening, we should be mostly dry in Lubbock. It's not until 9 to 10 o'clock we start to see those showers move back in. Those will linger with us through midnight and some heavier rainfall is expected off the Caprock over the rolling plains before 3 a.m. Now, in regard to how much rainfall we could see some of our northwestern areas seeing, uh, at least according to this particular model, up to about a quarter of an inch, the same story off the cap rock over the rolling plains. I do think where we see some of these heavier downpours with some of these showers and storms develop, we can maybe see a quarter up to a half of an inch of rainfall. So that certainly would be great news considering drought conditions are still pretty bad out there. Areas off to the east, mid 40s for lows tonight. Northwestern zones could have a few of us uh, fall down pretty close to that freezing mark. Highs for our Tuesday, 68 here in Lubbock will be anywhere from the upper 50s out west into the low 70s on off to our east. But y'all, it's going to be very windy as well. 73 in Paducah, again 68 in Lubbock, 64 in Seminole, 59 in Dora, 56 up in Clovis. These counties in pink on your screen, that's where we have a high wind warning in effect through 6 p.m. Central Time tomorrow evening. These tan shaded counties, mainly along into the south of the Highway 6282 corridor, under a wind advisory through around 6 p.m. Central Time tomorrow evening. In the advisory, gusts as high as 50 to 55 miles per hour are expected. And in the warning, we're talking wind gusts 65, maybe even as high as 70 miles per hour. So as we go throughout the morning hours tomorrow, going to be very windy. Dust really begins to pick up tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. But by 6, 7 o'clock, it looks like those winds will fall back below that uh, high wind warning threshold. So 70 mile per hour winds possible for these areas in red, areas in orange. Peak gust around 50 to 60 miles per hour are expected. And this lightest shade there is where we're expecting the calmest winds of only 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. Now, by the time Wednesday rolls around. We're tracking yet another cold front to move into the area. This could bring a few snow showers through the panhandle. Not expecting much for us here in the South Plains, except for some cold air moving in behind that cold front. Now, the way the current drought status stands, you can see we still have level D3 extreme drought for areas in red. We've seen a little bit of improvement over the past several snow events that we've had, but honestly, not a whole lot in the way of improvement. But over the next couple of days, Matt, it's going to be windy. Tomorrow going to be dusty, uh, but by Friday into Saturday, going to see those clouds return, but also those warmer temperatures coming back into the region. You make a great point, Jacob. You think we've had that ice and snow recently. You think, oh yeah, we've had plenty of precipitation mm -hmm. and not the case. Not the case. You know, it was nice to have, but we are in a deep hole. So yeah. we've got to get a lot more rain before we see those drought conditions completely go away. Well, especially about the summertime when we get into Ooh. June and we get those yeah. really rough months. That's it can get a little hairy there, but as we head into spring, we'll start to see more preset moving, hopefully. And I think this year going to be a little bit better than what we saw last year. Okay. Thanks, Jacob. Well,